Hello, I'm Resbeck of Resbeck Productions, bringing you finally the part three of Mega Man 1, and we are now taking on Dr. Wily's Evil Fortress. And now we are in Wily Fortress number one, where we are greeted by not one, not two, but three. If you order now, you can get three of your very own pogo stick robots with their own eyeballs. Honestly, um, that's just a sign of things to come with this level. <laughs> there are a hell of a lot of spikes in this level, and there's a hell of a lot of challenge in this level. Now, believe it or not, this is the first time I've actually experienced this level. So forgive me with all the paranoid things. This is actually about my fifth run through this opening level because of a particular boss later in this level. Enjoy that. So, um, you're noticing I'm using the magnet beam a lot for things, being very paranoid. It's because I've had to do this level a lot. And I mean a lot. Mainly, like I said, it's the first time I beat this game. I know why didn't I do a test playthrough and you know stuff. Well, honestly, I didn't have enough time, and I probably still won't have enough time to do test playthroughs on the rest of the games because I haven't beaten any of the classic games up until now. <sighs> I've just admitted that. How sad. And remember, the spike glitch exists in this game, so be very careful right there. I died quite a few times there. Like I said, I suck at the classics. Deal with it. And I sit here thinking to myself, huh, maybe I can't waste my magnet beam. Maybe if I could just wait for one of those unpredictable freaking freaks of nature just to come down here for a minute. But they don't! Spoiler, they don't. So I'm sitting here like an idiot for like, I don't know, two, 20 seconds, I don't know. And eventually I get the bright idea, you know, use the magnet beam because screw these little assholes because they don't do freaking anything. Seriously, they could dip- they could program it to dip down a lot further. Uh, but I can gripe at the programmers in another day. Anyway, this is why you need the Magnet Beam. Magnet Beam is absolutely mandatory to beat this level. If you do not get the Magnet Beam, I'm sorry, you've just failed. Now, the reason why you shouldn't do what I was doing earlier and go nuts with the Magnet Beam is because if you run out of energy, um, there's only one way you can refill it in this level- in this game. Earlier, you saw two- um, energy refills on the ground. You can just drop down from the ladder over and over again to refill it. Now we are fighting one of the hellish bosses of Mega Man 1! No! Oh, thank you, James Earl Jones. You've proved into me how much faith I've got in my life. And what is it? Well, it's me dying for a second. I know, right? Anticlimactic! Anyways. Um, you might want to save your leg beam, or at least have a decent amount, like half at least, because this boss right here is an absolute nightmare. I actually had to slow down my emulator and practice it slow. This is the Yellow Devil, the hellish creature that appears in many Mega Man games. His weakness is the leg beam, and you have to shoot him in the eye every time he pops up. Now, there is a glitch you can exploit. The glitch is basically you hit him with the electric beam and you keep pressing the pause button over and over, well, rather the select button over and over again. And each elect beam will count as an individual hit over and over again. It negates his invincibility frames. Now, you may notice he's moving across the room in a weird pattern. It actually has a pattern to it. And since I've been practicing, I had to practice it in slow motion, I can look at any yellow devil or any devil and notice, oh my god, it's the same pattern. Because. Here's something I want to say right now. I've been watching Smash Bros. footage for the Mega Man level. That pattern that the Yellow Devil moves in. Same exact pattern. Ugh. Absolute nightmare. This is why I had to keep redoing my f the freaking stage. Now, why didn't I save state? Because save states ruin my freaking recording. Ugh. Five, five redos, man. Come on. This boss is utter hell. But with that, I beat the Yellow Devil. He is dead! He is dead! You won't see him for another couple of games! Yes! Yes! We've done it! And now on to the second part of Wily Fortress. Again, I haven't- I've- This is basically blind playthrough 
part three. Part three is basically, yeah, for the most part, blind playthrough. Now, here's something I want to note. Notice how my like beam is refilled all the way. In the Wily Cat, on oh, the Wily Fortress, rather, your energy does not refill after every level. It's actually a gauntlet. Hold on. Whoa, we have to refight Catman. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, this I forgot to mention. This is Capcom's one of their first games where they introduced the boss rush, and they put this in a lot more games afterwards. I don't know why, I don't know how, but they just do. We have to fight a lick band. Pretty easy stuff. Now, if you're wondering what the music I'm using, it's just a boss remix of um of this game done by the Legend of the Renegade, which is in a link below if you like the music. He does a pretty good job remixing. Anyways, your energy does not refill throughout the um, Wily Fortresses. Only if you die. Like I said, this is the first time I ever beat this level. Or, yeah, basically, this is the first time I ever beat this level. So, give me credit. I die a lot. If you get a game over, your energy refills. Now, you start over from here. That is, I don't know about in the original. I know this is true in the anniversary collection. But, um, yeah. And now we take on the boss of this fortress level. I hope it's not as worse as the Yellow Devil. And what is this techno plating light in the background? It makes me kind of want to play Tetris or Dance Dance Revolution or something. <laughs> like I'd play Dance Dance Revolution. What the? We're fighting ourselves. Have you noticed you carry more than one you in yourself? Oh no. Now, this guy right here is the copy bot. Copies whatever weapon you have, whatever you're doing. If you have the magnet beam equipped, or the, um, super arm, he just jumps around like an idiot and does nothing. Um, there is no particular weakness to it for him. Rather, there is weapons that do a lot more damage to him. So here's the thing, though. The Ice Slasher... The one that you get from Iceman does zero damage to him. It does damage to you, but doesn't do damage to him. It stops him in place, but it doesn't do any damage. So, just letting you guys know that. The Leck Beam and the Fire... Wait, Fire... Fire Storm? Is it? It's the Fire Storm, right? Okay. Okay. Just had to ask a friend. And now we are taking on Wily Fortress number three. Now we are going in the underbelly of Dr. Wily. We will take on his sewer? His sewer, right? Okay, my friend tells me this is his sewer. A sewer. It's kind of weird. We were outside and now we're in the sewer. And now water. You can't go left. You can try as hard as you might, but you will not go left. And you will not, ever, get anything to the left. If there's an energy pellet that drops behind you, I'm sorry, you're not getting it. Penguins are flying at you, and after the penguins are over, it's the Medusa bombs. Because they move in a Medusa head fashion. <laughs> Anyways, if you just shoot, if you don't do what I'm doing, instead shoot further, like just shoot one and then let that go, and as soon as that one's off the screen, shoot another one, you won't get hit by them. And now, we fight this... What's this one called? You don't know the name of it? Okay, he just says it's called the Bubble Machine something or other. Um... Okay, I'll take your word for that. Anyways, you just... There's multiple machines, you just have to shoot them as they come out. Now, here's some logic here. The electric... The electric beam doesn't hurt them. The cutter... Doesn't hurt them as much. But rocks, rocks hurt them. Apparently rocks can break bubbles. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's some sort of logic there. Anywho, we are in the final stages of the Dr. Wily Fortress. And soon, we will meet the big bad Wily himself. And we are greeted by more of these UFO roid creatures from the previous parts. Absolute nightmares. Now here's here's some physics for you. The the energy power upper thingy bobber doesn't even drop down when you blast those blocks. Logic. Also, this is proof that 
Dr. Wily has some sort of favoritism towards Gutsman. Seriously. Look at that. There's statues of him everywhere. Obviously, he likes them. Anyways, now here's something I want to point out right now. I'm, I'm obviously ditching this part right here with the Magna Beam. Like I said, the first time I'm playing. However, there's this item um, right below, right there by the life up that refills all of your energy. And now we take on the Ostrich. Now, if you were paying attention during that boss rush, I did use the Elect Green glitch with uh, Iceman. Obviously, I wasn't prepared for that boss rush to show up. I don't know. I don't remember how I edited it. Anyways, that item refills all of your energy and health when you collect it. And now we take on the big bad Doctor Wily himself in his UFO. What? What on earth is this? And I died. Apparently, it looks like I absolutely just implode, didn't it? It's called compression. He's actually shooting out these, um, pellets from his machine. It's best to hit him with the Firestorm early on. Now you can, now his weakness now is the Elect Beam. You can use the Elect Beam glitch on him, but like I said, I only showed it off once. And he's shooting these rotating circle things. If you get the pattern down right, it's good and all. Now if you notice I jump into it sometimes, that's because of my compression on my emulator when it's recording it. I can't even tell what's moving half the time. So I'm just having to go basically on blindness. It doesn't appear that way to use half the time. At least I hope YouTube's compression doesn't do that. And now we have defeated Dr. Wily. And he's bound to the ground. Bowing saying, please forgive me. And then he disappears. Call that flicker glitch, I guess. And boom! My first time beating Mega Man 1 is now documented on video for everyone to see. Hey guys, I finally beat Mega Man 1! What's that? You don't care? Come on, bro! Jeez! Anyways, with that being done, Mega Man has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wily and restored the world to peace. However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. Fight, Mega Man, for everlasting peace! Can't you see? It makes everlasting gobstoppers. No, Willy Wonka, it's not an everlasting gobstopper. Jeez. Anyways, that was Mega Man 1. Fun game, great music, hard as hell. Well, not as hard as hell. It, it's pretty good stuff. It was made by the wonderful KG and Apune. Now, the first game didn't actually sell that well when it first came out. I don't know why, maybe it was the Yellow Devil for Christ's sake. But, um, the second game, the second game, he asked Capcom if he could make it himself, and Capcom let him do it on his own time, and Mega Man 2 became the best one he's ever created, in his opinion. Mega Man 2, I will be doing next, hopefully. But, I might get preoccupied, because I got music to learn from my band, and I want to beat Persona 3, I want to do all these things. I might just end up record over the summer recording all of the um, parts of McMahon possible for 1 through 8, well, 2 through 8 rather, and then post it on YouTube and do commentaries of it later. But, eh, I'll see how the summer goes. And boom, we have beaten Mega Man 1. I'll see you guys in the next game, I guess. See you around.